What's going on, y'all, man? We are back at it again. This your boy, Bezo with Wheels. Y'all make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Look how cold it is, man. Look. Dang. We can't get a break. One day, is we out here with gym shorts, and the next day, it's snowing. That's Oklahoma City for y'all. Hey, look, like I said, man, y'all see it in the title. Uh, this video is just about the uh, upcoming 500 subscribers uh, giveaway. I'm super excited about that because I never thought I'd be doing a giveaway anytime soon. Um, my goal is to try and hit 500 subscribers by the end of this month of December. Um, and if I do that, once I do that, um, I plan on doing a giveaway. First place, second place, third place winners. I'm not balling like that. I ain't balling, period. Uh, and I'm going to make sure it's worth it, though. I'm, I'm going to be having fun with this one. Um, Y'all stay tuned. Like I said, um, now... I would say the steps that you need to take right now, if you want to participate in the 500 subscriber giveaway, um, subscribe. Got to subscribe, man. Go ahead and give me that support for subscribing. I'm not doing this for myself. I'm doing this giveaway for y'all because like I said, when I started doing these videos, I didn't even think half the subscribers that I have right now would even be interested. So I'm super excited, super blessed, if anything. Um, so I want to do something in return every, I won't say every 500 subscribers, but it just depends. I feel like it's very important to hit that bell notification because I want to get everybody a chance to, to win. Some have that bell notification and some don't have that bell notification. So this is an opportunity to hit that bell notification. That way you are alarmed when the next time I drop a video. Um, like I said, I'm still trying to map out exactly how I'm going to do the giveaway. But I know it's going to be a first place, second place, third place winner. Um, I'm trying to think exactly how it's going to go. But by the time I hit 500 subscribers, I have it all figured out. I have it all going. Other than that, man, y'all see the next project. Super excited about that one. Y'all just bear with me. Other than that, I feel like it should go fairly smooth. Y'all stay tuned, man. Uh, got this project in here now. Before we dive right into this one, I just want to say one more time. I just want to explain. As soon as I hit 500 subscribers, my next video will be the giveaway, the instructions on how to do it. And then it's going to be a one, two, three, go. Y'all have at it. <laughs> um, other than that, I'm gonna leave the color the same, but we're just gonna black everything out. Uh, so we keeping keeping this center part blacking every, everything out right here, everything right there, whole front, bottom, uh, these pieces as well, and then um, real simple project, real easy project. Black that out, black this out, black the trim around it. Oh, this, okay, that's good. Cool. And then black right here, keep the CTS V sign. No, it's funny. Um, other than that, it's gonna be a real simple project. I got about five other more projects to do today. Um, little miscellaneous pieces. So other than that, y'all stay tuned. I'm gonna be pressing it, man. Upcoming 500 subscriber giveaway. If y'all wanna stay tuned to watch this video, to um, pretty much this is for any car, really. If you wanna black out your car, I'm gonna show you step by step how to do it. Um, other than that, man, let's get it. Uh, pretty much started on this. Uh, first thing you want to do is make sure you mask it. Make sure you mask it correctly. Make sure you take your time. Uh, like I didn't right here. Um, definitely want to go over your work. I'm not the greatest at masking, but um, you get better and better as you go. It's all repetition. Um, uh, just kind of look over it. We've already scuffed it. We've already wiped it down with the wax and grease remover. Um, I went ahead and took this piece off because I was not about to mask the inside. Yeah, anyways. So that would have took way too long. But uh, other than that, man, we are pretty much good to go on this. Like I said, we're just making it. We're just blacking it out. That's all we're doing. Nothing major. Um, yeah, y'all stay tuned, man. Let's get it. Yes, sir. All right. Um, I wasn't planning on recording everything, but this is just a rundown. If you want to just black out your grill or something like that, I'm going to tell you all the steps. So what I did was mask everything up clearly and then scuffed it. Let me show you all what I scuffed it with. That way you all have a visual. Um, scuffed it with some red scotch bright. You're scuffing it so you can get rid of the softness. You want that uh, paint to absorb or primer to absorb into those uh, uh, light scuff marks. Um, then it's highly recommended that you do have your adhesion promoter 
which is here, adhesion promoter. When you're doing plastic like these, like maybe even the wheels, since the wheels are plastic, or say you wanted to do the door handles or your little mirrors or these. Now, the adhesion promoter allows the primer to stick because the adhesion promoter will stick a lot better to plastic surfaces like this, door handles, plastic pieces, better than primer does. So in this order, you actually, like if you wanted to paint these pieces right here, you would scuff it with your scotch bright, and then you would adhesion promote it. Use adhesion promoter right here. Do a couple coats until it's a reasonable coat or whatever. And then let it dry. Let it do its thing. Let it cure 20, 30 minutes. And then you want to go ahead with your primer. You want to go ahead and prime it down. Um, it's optional if you want to scuff the primer, which I did scuff the primer in some areas. Um, I scuffed it with 800 grit. And then you paint it. Then you clear it. My next step is clearing it. As y'all can see, um, this is... It was gloss black uh, in a can, um, which is not a big deal, man. Um, like I said, we're gonna use the automotive clear coat. So this is how it is right now. Um, we got the black grill on there, black pieces like that. That's exactly how the customer wanted it. That's exactly how we gonna do it. Other than that, back pieces right here. Yes, sir. Got that piece. Next is clearing it. You don't have to clear it if it's already in the can. Now, if you get gloss black in a can, you don't have to clear it. You don't have to use the automotive clear. Um, I just like to because it's an extra layer of protection. Um, sticker clear. I'm trying to persuade him to do these wheels uh, black because it's starting to look pretty mean. I like, I love the all black mean look. Uh, it's, it looks like a beast. I would murder this out black. I would do the wheels. He actually said he was going to do the wheels but he's probably gonna wait till somewhere around Christmas, maybe after Christmas, I don't know. All right, man, so the clear coat is officially on there. As y'all can see, we got this center part taped up. Uh, man, I'm trying to see what it looked like in the morning. So yeah, uh, we'll check back at it. We'll check back at it in the morning and then see how she looks. Take it all apart, demask it. Y'all stay tuned, man. Let's go. Man, another cold one today. Snow's coming down. Just started. It's supposed to be like this all day. Um, Yeah, man. So last night's project was the Cadillac. No, nothing too major. Nothing like that. Not so much as a how-to video. Man, that snow is thick. Uh, Man, I had somebody comment with like, dang, it's never snowed here. Man. Um, that was an ice storm that I had on my, um, on my last video. Uh, ice storm is what you don't want to see. If it was an ice storm, that shit would have failed by now. You can have about five inches of snow sitting on your whatever carport and it'd be fine. But if you got an inch of ice, you're done. Anyways, man, let's go ahead and get this mask and paper off. Um, cut this dang heater on. It is cold. Space this bad boy out. Oh, wait. Cut this heater on. Um, yeah, it's just, it's, it's too cold, man. I got a project coming in uh, Thursday or Friday. I got a full project, full complete, full color change on a truck. If it's this cold, I won't be doing it. I will not be doing it because these propane heaters is not cutting it. So I dropped my propane heater, uh, and now I can't max it out to the to the highest temperature for some odd reason. So a little frustrated with that. So now I might have to go get another one.
Let me go ahead and do the wheels and the brake calibers and everything else black. Uh, now I keep the brake calibers red and then put the uh, wheels black, put the silver trim around there black, put that little, what you call it, black. I'd even black out the tips. Ooh, that thing hard though. Tail lights is already tinted. He did that himself. But man, tell me what y'all think, man. That's a big difference. That's a big boy emblem right there. Golly, I see it. It's cold. I'm about to get my ass, my little skinny ass in the house. Call it a day. We done for the day. Y'all make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe, man. We out.